Hi, I'm Astor, and welcome to Astonished Animations. Making food models is always fun. Including food in a scene can sometimes add more to the story behind, like you're having a taste of the everyday life in that 3D world. Today we'll be making stylized rice in Blender 2.9 using Eevee. I'll share a simple trick that can make your 3D rice look better in Eevee without using subsurface scattering. Let's get into it. First, create a sphere and remove the bottom half of it. This will be the base shape of our rice, so you can use any shape you want. You know, you can use, you know, any shape, you know? Yeah, you get it? Yeah. Make sure to name the object something like rice base as well. I forgot to do it in the recording, so yeah, sorry. Yeah. Give the object a material, name it something like rice base, and switch to the shading workspace. Make sure the node Wrangler add-on is enabled to make your life easier. In the shader editor, disconnect the principal BSTF, add a Voronoi texture, and hit Ctrl Shift left mouse button on it and run it into the output. Hit Shift A converter color ramp and place it after the Voronoi. Flip the black and white in a ramp. and move the white closer to the right. Increase the scale of the Voronoi, and you should see some rice-shaped particles. <sighs> Kinda. Now adjust the colors and positions of the color ramp to get the rice look. Remember to look at references and color pick from images if you need to. But we don't have to be accurate at this stage because we can do the final tweaks later. Now you can stop here if you think this looks like rice. Well, but now I'm going to start adding actual rice particles on top. Create a cylinder with around 10 vertices. We don't need that many. Make sure to name this object as well. Inset the top and bottom faces and scale them along the z-axis. I'll add three edge loops in the middle and scale out the middle edge with proportional editing turn on. Inset the top and bottom faces one more time. And I'll merge the top vertices along the circle into one vertex. Same for the bottom. Treat the shape until it looks like rice. Now add a particle system to the rice base and set it to hair. Go down to render and select render as object. Select our rice particle and oh my god this looks disgusting. To fix it, go back to the top and check advanced. Enable rotation and select orientation axis as normal. Randomize everything because randomness equals natural. Now adjust the scale of the particle under the render tab. You don't need that much randomness for scale because too much randomness equals not natural. You can go into edit mode for the rice particle to adjust the scale as well. Adjust the number of particles until you cover most of the surface. You can leave some holes here and there because the base texture help fill those in. Now create a new material for the rice particle, call it rice particles. Go to the shading workspace and in the shader editor, hit shift A, converter, shader to RGB, and put it after the principal BSDF. Insert the color ramp and change the black to a yellowish brown color. Maybe move the white a little bit to the left as well. But we'll do some tweaking again after everything is done. I'll go back to the render properties on the right and enable ambient occlusion. Back to the shader, I'll hit Shift A, input ambient occlusion and place it below the color ramp. Hold Ctrl Shift right click on the color ramp and drag the line onto the ambient occlusion. This creates a mixed RGB between them. Make sure the ambient occlusion is plugged into the lower input and change mix to multiply. Turn down the factor to around 0.3 to make the ambient occlusion more subtle. Maybe add a color ramp behind the ambient occlusion and change the black to a yellowish color as well. Now, does this look like rice? Well, it could be better. Nah, it looks like sh The rice particles look disconnected. 
and here comes the trick to make it look better. The following step might blow up your computer if your individual rice particle has too many faces. So make sure the rice particles have just enough faces to show their shapes. Now go to the modifier tab for the base mesh and hit convert for the particle system. This turns all your rice particles into individual objects. While they are all selected, assign them to a new collection. Call it rice particles. You can now remove the particle system on the base mesh and delete the original rice particle. Now, select all the rice particles by selecting all objects in the collection. Shift click on one of the rice particles and hit Ctrl J to join them into one object. Go to the modifier tab and add a data transfer modifier. Select the base mesh for the source and check the face corner data. Select Custom Normals and under Object Data Properties, under Normal, select Auto Smooth and boom. The rice looks different, but still needs some tweaking. I'll now go back to the shader editor for the base mesh. And add a diffuse shader. Connect it to a shader to RGB. Which is connected to a color ramp. Hold Ctrl Shift right click on the upper color ramp and drag the line onto the new color ramp. Change Mix to Multiply and by doing this we add back shadow to our base mesh. Modify the color ramps until the base mesh looks good with the rice particles on top. For a little bonus, you can also add outlines to the rice using the inverted hole method. Add a new material to the rice particles, call it Outline. Change the shader to Emission. Select a color for the rice outline. Select back face calling and set shadow mode to None. Go to the Modifier properties and add a Solidify modifier. Under Normals, check Flip. And under Materials, set Material Offset to 1. Give it a negative thickness just a little bit. And now you have outlines on your rice. On the base mesh, add the subdivision surface modifier to make the shading smoother. You may now treat the materials properly and after that, you're basically done. Now that you have the basic rice done, you can make your favorite donburi, onigiri, egg fried rice in Blender. You can make changes to the shader, maybe the shape of the rice, to get different results. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.